So when you first open Spaghetti, it's going to drop you directly into the Spaghetti browser. Uh, that's the view that you will be in when you first open it. Uh, this is a very useful view uh, if you're just wanting to look at some of the files you've downloaded or created in some other software. And it will allow you to open them, view them in a lot of different ways. So here's, I'm just going to click through a couple of these test patterns. Um, there's a browser on the right hand side that you can scroll through and get to all of your different files. It's just a regular Windows file browser. It's easy to use. I happen to already be in my test patterns folder. So you can go through and view the different test patterns and as you see, as you would expect, the art is displayed on the screen um, just the way you would expect to see it. However, there's a few other views. Well, there's two other ways that you can view these and it's very useful. Um, I'm going to go to my Beams folder. I have a bunch of Beam files for that kind of stuff and as you see I can view animations as well. These animations are just some looping animations and they will loop um, and continually play. Uh, this animation probably starts there and ends there so it's just looping around. Um, but if you click this window once you'll get to see what that would look like as a beam. Um, and if you click it a second time you will see the animation in there as well. And then uh, if you click it one more time it'll be back to this. So we're going to use this animation here. So this is a nice, you know, figure eight rainbow pattern. And if I click it once, you'll see that that's happening. And if I click it again, you can see that um, you'll be able to see the actual animation behind the beam or in the beam, the animation that's causing the beam, actually. And uh, that's the way you can kind of view things ahead of time and see what your beams are going to look like. Uh, obviously this is going to be just a view from the center, oftentimes we're viewing beams from below, but uh, this will give you a basic idea. And that's it, that is how the browser view works, there's not much more to it. And the next videos will cover um, opening the drawing view, doing some drawings, and how to make actual projects that are timed to music.